I just stole the secret to breaking 540 on 2K on an ERG. It's on this flash drive, but I don't have much time. What was that? No. 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 Ah! 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 Attention. What is going on rowing community? My name is Justin Best. Thank you so much for joining me in this video today. Over the last nine years of rowing, I've come to realize that rowers eat a lot. They're usually on a time constraint, but with all of the multiple hour sessions per week, and we're always pushing our immune system to its limits, just with the amount of volume and exercise and cross training and all of the encompassing travel and with all the different people that we're with. Along the way, I've come across a couple of different things that helps me get calories in quickly, gives me a little bit of a pick-me-up, or helps me with battling a cold. I have clinically proven that all of these things help. Are you sure about that? So the purpose of this video today is to go over my go-tos, snacks, meals, and drinks that I have learned over the past many years that I've been rowing. My first few go-tos are what I would do just before a workout or during a workout. Okay, so I call this drink my pre-workout. I'm not really into the powders that you can get from GNC or something like that. I personally really like this. It is just the right amount of caffeine for me. Uh, it also has some carbohydrates, more complex, and also a little bit of simple carbohydrates. We have two shots of espresso, a cup of oat milk, two servings of honey. I usually am looking for speed and the ability to drink it, so I'll make the espresso warm, but then I will pour it over ice, mix the honey in. I'm just gonna stir it up in the Batman cup. Pour it. It's sweet, it's cool, it gives me caffeine. This is one of my all-time favorite pre-workout snacks. Uh, it has a nice blend of complex carbohydrates, simple carbohydrates, got a nice little bit of fat. I call it honey butter toast. So what you need is, I like to use Dave's Killer Bread, 21 grains and seeds. I like to use Justin's Classic Peanut Butter. Hey, that's my name. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. All of the ingredients are is dry roasted peanut butter, and some palm oil. Also mix in some almond butter, again unsweetened, no salt, and the only ingredients are organic dry roasted almonds. And then we just have nice honey. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna be using exact measurements. Uh, I normally will just kind of eyeball it, so we have two tablespoons of one of the butters, and two tablespoons just about Red, full tablespoon of honey, tablespoon of honey on the other. And like I said, this is just a really quick, easy snack. It provides a decent amount of calories, a decent uh, energy kick, and to me, it's not too hard to digest or anything, so I can eat this probably within an hour of working out, and I feel nice and fueled for my workout. So another snack that I always like to go to uh, before a workout, if I know I don't have a huge time window to digest a full meal, is ants on a log. And my ants on a log has a banana instead of the conventional one with the celery. So in order to make my ants on a log, it's pretty simple. Hey, Justin's peanut butter. Oh brother, this guy stinks! No exact measurements here, just kind of eyeball it. Just an appropriate amount, and then, I just like to do a handful of raisins. Wow, look at all those ants on the log. So it's easy, it's delicious, it's super digestible, and then it makes me feel good while I'm working out. It doesn't sit too heavy in the stomach. So when I'm on the water, I like to add Noon, just Noon Sport, their basic, you know, non-caffeine uh, tablets. I'll drop one of these in a the water and I'll be good to go for electrolytes. Uh, it's yummy, it just makes water taste a little bit more interesting. So, like I said, noon. I've tried Gatorade before, but I like noon because it's a little less sugary. Sometimes when I get too much sugar, my mouth gets a little dry, and noon, I don't have that issue. 
uh, and that's why it is a go-to for my drinks. Okay, so I'm not a huge fan of eating while working out, but I do incorporate it if I know that I'm gonna have a really long workout when you're talking about hour and a half plus. My go-to, and actually a friend of mine turned me on to these, are Medjool... Medjool dates. Quick and easy to just pop into your mouth. They taste delicious. And then, graham crackers. If I'm not on the boat, dates and graham crackers are definitely a go-to just for the boat. Put these in a plastic baggie and you can carry them with you uh, while you're on the water. Quick, easy, good carbs, tastes good graham crackers, and dates. My next few go-tos are just a couple of things that are quick to grab and quick to eat when I'm not really looking for a full sit-down meal. Okay, so a go-to of mine that is super, super quick, it's portable if you have a cooling container, kind of like a lunchbox, uh, is just a generic protein shake. Uh, specifically, the protein that I use, basic nutrition grass-fed whey protein. Uh, it's not flavored, so unflavored. And uh, I absolutely love this protein blend. It's a protein blend that doesn't make me feel like I have a cement ball in my stomach when I eat it. It also dilutes super, super well. Uh, you can use it for baking. I, I personally don't. I just use it for my protein shakes or overnight oats. Two scoops. And what I like about unflavored uh, is that I can control how much I want to put in of whatever flavoring, whether that's honey or if I want to add really any syrup or other forms of flavoring, I can control that. It's not like already predetermined. I personally will use Whole Foods uh, chocolate syrup. They don't use uh, high fructose corn syrup. They use pure cane sugar. So if I'm gonna get my sugar, I want the legit sugar. I'm using exact measurements. This is exactly one serving, two tablespoons a second. And then I will rotate between using oat milk, uh, regular milk. If I don't have access to either of those, I will um, use just water. So, get some whole milk. The next step is you just shake it, and so everything is crushed. I pack this in a lunchbox and take it with me to the boathouse so that I have it directly after practice if I know that I'm gonna have a super long, super intense practice. It's really great if I know I have to go somewhere else because I can just grab it, drink it, and it goes down. Plenty of calories, good amount of protein. Mm. Just with the little bit amount of syrup, it tastes delicious. Okay, so my next go-to is overnight oats. Uh, there's thousands of different variations of overnight oats. I personally find that it's just so convenient to just prep the night before, throw it in the refrigerator, and if you know you're busy after practice in the morning, it's just a great thing you can go to, you get your protein, get your carbs in, and it goes down quickly. Uh, and you can make it as delicious as you want it. One of my go-to overnight recipes, I'm gonna start with half a cup of oats. I use just a protein blender bottle to put my oats in, and I find that it works very well. One and a half scoops of protein. I will do a tablespoon or so of chia seeds, and then a tablespoon or so of flax seeds. Both of those just add a little bit more texture, and then also it's good for your gut. Brown cinnamon, just as much as I'm feeling. Then I add a stevia sweetener, and that really makes it extra, extra sweet. Uh, stevia is a lot more sweet than sugar. Um, I also just find that it dissolves better overnight than sugar itself. So then I personally use milk. There are tons of milk substitutes that people use, like oat milk, uh, another one of my favorite. Fill it a considerable amount, not all the way to the top. And then what we do, be sure that everything is blended. We shake it. And then once that's all done, uh, we just put it in the refrigerator. And then once that's all done, we just put it in the refrigerator. So for my next meal, it's quick, it's easy. It's just sliced veggies with hummus. 
Um, this is the uh, Whole Foods generic hummus, but really any hummus works. Uh, chickpeas are such a great source of protein. Uh, very easily digestible, and then you get veggies with a nice little crunch. I used to go to Wawa, and they had these Sabra pre-packaged uh, veggie and hummus, but uh, there's no Wawa on the West Coast, so I miss that a lot. But it's still the same premise, it was just grab and go, and they usually come in pretty portable containers, uh, and you just need something to keep it kind of ch chill. The next two items on my go-to list I call calorie bombs and it's usually a meal that I'll have after a really, really long session or towards the end of the day. Okay, so this is a meal inspired by four times world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. Uh, he calls it his monster mash and I personally really enjoy this meal because it's very easy to prep, uh, put together, cook and it is full of calories, it's easy to digest um, so in total, you get a lot of good quality calories in a short amount of time. Um, what it calls for is a pound of ground bison or ground beef. I'm personally using ground turkey. I like it a little bit better. Um, cook that up. A cup or so of cooked rice and some steamed veggies. I'll also add some ground pepper just for a little bit of flavoring in addition to the salt. For the purpose of this meal, I'm just using precise measurements. I usually eyeball what a cup is. This is pretty close to an exact cup of cooked rice. And then I'll take half of the cooked turkey. I steam some baby carrots. Just do a handful of baby carrots right here. And then the thing I forgot to mention, chicken broth makes the flavor excellent and it's easier to digest. For that, you need about three quarters of a cup. So, it's about. It's called monster mash because the next step is you mash it. You mash it all together while trying to keep it in the bowl. So I really enjoy this meal because it's very quick to cook. Uh, there's a lot of great nutrients and macros in it. Um, and then on top of that, it's super easy to digest. I usually would cook this late at night if I had a night class or if I had other previous engagements. If I knew I needed to be in bed by a certain time, I could eat this and still get to bed without feeling bloated and it digests perfectly. Okay, so this next calorie bomb meal involves going to Chipotle. I personally love Chipotle because no matter where I am in the United States, you kind of know what you're gonna get. The menu is always the same and the quality of the ingredients are always the same across the board. So it's pretty helpful if you're on a training camp or you're at a regatta and you just need something. So I call this a calorie bomb because I actually discovered this method a few years ago on YouTube. It's essentially using the Chipotle bowl but maximizing the amount of stuff that you can put into it. I'll leave a link to the video below proving all of this. So because of COVID-19, I put in a mobile order. I'm not sure this is my first time ever doing this trick with a mobile order, but I screen recorded the order that I did. Essentially what you do is you ask for half of everything. So half chicken, half steak, half rice, half beans, of the black and brown and the white and brown rice. And essentially what ends up happening is the servers tend to over serve. So you ultimately get more than what you would have normally gotten. I normally would order two tortillas on the side. The mobile order only allows you to put one. I like Chipotle because for the quality of ingredients, it's relatively cheap. Uh, especially if it's only a one-off thing. This whole entire thing costs under $10. And if you're lucky, they'll charge it as a chicken bowl, which will be about seven and a half dollars instead of the $9 for a steak bowl. Secure the bag, and then I'll just go back and show you how I assemble it and what it looks like. Okay. And we're back. I just asked when I got into the restaurant for an extra uh, tortilla, so two tortillas. Yeah, that's a pretty full size bowl. And then what I do, kind of place them like 
Venn diagram. And then just take the bowl. <laughs> Sides. And then you just kind of roll it on top of itself. You have a massive calorie bomb burrito for under $10. Next up are my go-tos when I am feeling under the weather. So for this next section, I just want to preface it by saying I am not a doctor. I am not a registered dietitian. This is not medical advice. This is just my personal experience and this is purely for entertainment purposes only. Please do your due diligence if you're going to attempt either of these two. So as a rower with the amount of volume that I do, I'm constantly putting my immune system under a lot of stress just because I'm going from workouts to then going to work or going to classes. This next thing uh, is one of my go-tos because it's kind of all encompassing with uh, symptoms. I call this the immuno shot. This was suggested to me by a coxswain friend of mine. I have loved it ever since. It's just when I'm really, really deep with the symptoms of a cold, uh, this really cleans out my sinuses and makes me feel a little bit a little bit better. So as I said, uh, this is a shot, an immuno shot. Uh, just everything is based on like kind of what you would think of as small amount. Um, you start with apple cider vinegar. Um, you add a little bit of honey, uh, some cayenne pepper powder, turmeric, and then some crushed ginger. But be sure to crush the ginger. and be sure to mix it extremely, extremely well. Now this is a very, very brutal shot, but if you get it down quick, it helps me a lot. And uh, that is why it is a go-to when I am feeling just a little bit under the weather. Oh, oh. Ooh, wow. Yeah, it's clearing up my sinuses right now. That's why it's a go-to. So for my next go-to, this is a drink that I will make. It's a little concoction that I've put together uh, that I will do whenever I feel the slightest inkling of a cold symptom. So whether that's a little bit more fatigue than normal, uh, scratch in the back of the throat, I feel like uh, tightness in the chest. As soon as I feel an inkling of that, I make this drink and it deals with the symptoms or re drastically reduces the amount of time that I feel the cold symptoms. What I put together is Orange Zest Alka-Seltzer Plus cold tablets. Any zinc cold chewable tablets. Uh, I just so happen to pull together the Walgreens ones. And then emergency uh, vitamin C. I call this the orange drink because all of the flavors uh, I put together are orange and it makes the drink taste just a little bit better. But be sure to just crush one zinc tablet. Just get it to a nice fine zinc orangey powder, place it in our cup, add the two Alka-Seltzers, add the percent vitamin C, nice cold water. Once the bubbling has subsided from the Alka-Seltzer, just gonna give it a little bit extra stir. Make sure as much of the zinc gets broken down as possible since they are chewable tablets. And that is the orange drink. And like I said, this is not medical advice. This is purely entertainment purposes. Please consult your doctors or physicians because there are active ingredients in the zinc tablets and Alka-Seltzer. Even though it is available over the counter at your local pharmacy, Please, please, please do your own diligence. And that's it. Those are just a few of my go-tos that I've developed over the past nine years of my rowing career. And I really find that each individual item, there's something positive about it. And that's really why I go back to them time and time again. 
As always, feel free to subscribe, leave a like if you liked what you saw. If you've tried any of the go-tos that I've listed, let me know what you think of them. Thank you so much again for watching the video and I will see you in the next video.